Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is EPR Originals and today, today, today I'm doing my week 10 of 2024 grocery budget challenge non-grocery haul haul. Huh? I know that sounds weird. So I um don't have a grocery haul for week 10. I am still going off groceries from week 9. I'm going to show you what's left over. I'm Still thinking at this point, I'm going to do a midweek haul. I may not, but I'm going to go over what's left over. I have two more hauls before the end of my challenge, and um, I'm not sure exactly how many more weeks this is going to go just because of the way my life's been going. Um, but I'm going to do what's left over, and then I'm going to give you what my grocery list was, sort of. And what my grocery list is now to kind of combine over the next two grocery hauls. And there's a little bit of uh, money left in the budget. So I may do some other different stuff or add some fun stuff. Who knows? But let's check out what was left, left over from week nine. It's Saturday night and you're going to hear my dishwasher running in the background because I want to get this recorded before I go to bed. Uh, this is my what's left over from week, what's this, in a week nine? Wow. Um, yeah, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough Saturday. I went really good this morning, so I didn't eat breakfast. Now, yeah, now I'm going to, anyway, long day. So this is what I've got left. I'm doing a little bit different format. I'm doing by meals of what's complete and what I, meal ideas I have with what I have. That makes any sense. As we go along, you'll understand. So in my freezer, I have the biscuit cups. Let's see, I think I made 16, so that should be 14 left, because I only ate two. So that's seven days worth of breakfast. I have two days worth of the French toast and sausage, so that makes a total of nine days worth of breakfast. And I have three things of the pigs and bread gets left, which makes 12? 12, <laughs> I'm doing math in my head. 12 days worth of breakfast. Uh, other breakfast ideas, uh, you probably can't tell what's in those bags, but I have the smoked sausage that I didn't use in the pigs in the blanket, and I've got a little bit of bacon in the far bag, the bag in the back. In the front, I have corned beef. I actually thought, and then I have some potatoes over here. I actually thought I had four potatoes left. I only have three potatoes left. So, I may either need to buy another potato or change one of my ideas. But I was gonna make a corn beef hash with some of the leftover corned beef and, a pota and potatoes. And then I have some bacon. I was gonna just do hash browns with bacon and cheese. I was gonna try to get two out of the bat hash browns, bacon and cheese, and then three out of the, out of the corned beef hash. But I don't feel like I've got enough potatoes to do that. So, yeah. Hmm. We'll see what I do. Um, I may end up just buying another potato to fill it out because, yeah, we'll see. So that's what I have left breakfast-wise. Now we'll get to lunch-wise. Okay, some of these components you're going to see twice. Nothing's twice duplicated here, but some of the things that are here you'll see elsewhere. So this is what I have for lunches. Back in the back right-hand corner is my lunch for tomorrow, which is the pineapple I have left, the cucumber salad I have left, and the pizza. That's gonna be my lunch for tomorrow. I also have some pepperoni left, some salami left, and some sliced cheese left, and those uh, vegetable rind crackers. So I can make munchables again, and I'll put carrots with that. That's why the carrots are out here, because that's what I did when I made them previously. I think I'm gonna make three of the Lunchable lunches for this next week, uh, just because I know I'm gonna have a rough week anyway. Uh, I have the three peanut butter jelly and jelly uncrustable sandwiches left, which would be another lunch. And then I put this as part of a lunch, uh, the chickpeas and the pasta, because I just need some tomatoes and cucumbers and I can make chickpea pasta salad. And I put that in the lunch category because that is an easy throw in a container, take to work for lunch kind of meal but that could also be a dinner, but I decided to classify it as a lunch. So now to what I have dinner-wise. Okay, these are my two fully planned dinners. Uh, on the left-hand side here, 
I have my semi Cajun pasta, whatever. I'll use one of those kielbasas that you can't see very well. One of those. The two packs of the Alfredo pasta. Season it with the soul food seasoning, which I hope has some kick to it. It looks like it might. Um, I want it Cajun seasoning. You saw my haul, you'll know why I went with that. And then I think I will take some of the okra and roast it in the oven to go along with that as the veggie side. On this other side here, got components for bean burritos. Uh, bean and rice burritos specifically. May put the corn in the burritos, may put the corn on the side. And I did forget, hold on, one thing. Go Now magically, we have appeared the seasonings for the uh, for the bean burritos. So uh, I've got cumin, chili powder, garlic powder to season my refried beans for my bean burritos. Um, so that is another meal. I feel like I can get three to four servings out of each of these. Um, but yeah, those, so those are my fully fleshed out meals. Next, I'm going to go with snacks and then I'll go with components that you haven't seen. So next will be snacks. Okay, so this is snacks and treats. I just said snacks, but snacks and treats. So I still have the full bag of pork rinds. I know once I eat those pork rinds, they're gonna be gone in like two days. That's why I'm holding off on the opening those pork rinds. I've got the super pretzels. I wanna say there's three left in there. I have still have some of those pretzel sticks. Uh, the vegetable round crackers have reappeared because I have more of those than what I need for the Lunchable, so those can be snacks as well. I've got two microwave popcorns. I have peanut butter cookie mix. I have one Klondike bar. I have carrots I can use as snacks, and I do have one other treat that I didn't pull out of the freezer. Again, magically, banana cupcakes have appeared. So that's what I have for treats and snacks. Next, I'm going to do components you haven't seen that are mainly seasoning or flavoring more so than ingredients. Okay, so I got mayo, mustard, ketchup, uh, wish, uh, soy sauce, and balsamic vinegar, peanut butter and jelly, which I guess technically peanut butter and jelly are more of ingredients than seasonings, but they ended up here. I got brown sugar. I have in the sour cream tub is actually some ranch dressing uh, that I made. Uh, or some ranch dip I made using the ranch seasoning packet on top, but I didn't use the whole thing because I didn't have a heap of sour cream. So that was, that's another seasoning. I have the oil, representation of oil, vinegar and salt that were the pantry staples I started with, and oregano and pepper. So those are the seasonings I have. So now two other meal components. I think this is the last of everything. Hopefully you can see everything. But I still have, I have flour. I have egg noodles. I have more egg noodles than what's in that container. I have some spaghetti. I have butter. I have also, as far as veggies, I have some broccoli, green beans, and lima beans. I have some breadcrumbs back there, or some <coughs> bread crap, <coughs> excuse me, bread crust that I dried out. I had three other things of the north sides. One of them is a repeat of that Mexican rice. I have sauerkraut. I have some, uh, a little bit of sourdough bread. Really, I can make a sandwich. I've got three slices. Or I can do bread, toasted bread on the side of one of my other meals. Got a little bit of milk. The kielbasa has made a reappearance because I only plan on using one of those sausages in that meal. Uh, so I do have, I'll have another one of those sausages and, um, the corned beef has made a reappearance because I had some sliced corned beef to make Rubens with additionally, but, um, like I said, I don't know that I really have enough bread to do that for this week. Um, what I've decided to do with my grocery haul is I'm going to do a midweek grocery haul instead of a weekend grocery haul. Uh, I feel like I've got a good six dinners and a good four lunches and plenty of breakfast for the week. But I kind of think I want to do a midweek grocery haul to kind of flesh this out. I sat down and I kind of made a rough meal plan and priced out the ingredients for it. 
Uh, and then I actually kind of collated how many meals I needed and I overestimated how many more meals I need beyond what I have. So, um, so when I do my grocery haul, that's my non grocery haul video, which is, well, you will see this again, or you will have just seen this again. And I will talk a little bit about what I was planning and how many meals I have left and what I am planning now. Cause I kind of up in the air on some things. So that I'm pretty sure is all that I have left. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I might have. Uh, if not, you'll see, if I did, you'll, you'll, you'll probably see me cook with it at some point. Anyway, that's it. That's it for this. Okay, so now that we know what I have left at the end of week nine, I need to think about my grocery list and my grocery haul for midweek of week 10, maybe at the end of week 10, we'll see how things go. So I have plenty of things for breakfast, but I want a little bit more variety in my bre breakfast. I have a couple components in my freezer that I can, uh, I can uh, expand my breakfast and give me a little bit more variety. So I, uh, I would need an onion, a potato, and some pancake mix to finish those things out. That sounds like a weird combination, but they're not all going together. So that's that's good. I have plenty of um, frozen veggies and plenty of um, the rice mixes, I think, to get me through the challenge. But I would probably buy another bag of frozen veggies to be on the safe side and another rice mix, maybe a stuffing mix, something else like that to kind of bulk up some other meals. So, that is, those are things on the list. Now to the high dollar thing on my list, am I thinking? Okay, so I was thinking three pounds of ground beef. Three pounds of ground beef. I can get roughly 16 meals probably out of three pounds of ground beef. Make four different, four different things and probably have four servings of each. A pork roast, either pork loin roast or, or a pork shoulder roast. Pork loin roast, they're usually fairly small. I'll probably get only three meals out of that. Pork shoulder roast still would be a fairly small one, but I would still be able to get probably four to six meals out of that. And then some chicken of some description, preferably chicken breast because I feel like it's a little more flexible with some things. Uh, but chicken legs, chicken thighs, they're cheaper, and I could opt for that and do some things with that as well. So my budgeting for that, so I budgeted in my mind, I budgeted $25 for this. My reasoning for $25 is three pounds of ground beef at Aldi is going to be roughly in the $12 range. That's not frozen. Their frozen ground, three pound roll of ground beef is, I want around $9. Hopefully, I can get ground beef on sale somewhere, three pounds to make three pounds somewhere in the $10 range. Uh, pork roast. They uh, Aldi has their preseason pork loin roast. They're usually in the three dollar range. They're fairly small. They're usually slightly over a pound, but I wouldn't expect to get more than you know three meals out of that anyway. They also usually have, they also have preseason pork shoulder roasts that you can put in the crock pot, and they're usually in the five to six dollar range depending on which size you get. And then there's chicken that I can flex up or flex down depending on how much the ground beef cost and the which pork roast I get I can flex up chicken or down up or down so that's why I was budgeted $25 for that so next thing I need to look at is snacks I just decided I'd make my dream list of snacks for the for the rest of the rest of the challenge I would like ice cream again I've eating all the ice cream I, I bought now. So um, ice cream would be a nice, nice little treat to have. Chips, I uh, hadn't had chips since the beginning of the challenge. I mean, I've had pretzels. They're not the same as chips. I do have pork rinds that I haven't opened yet, but still they're not the same as chips. I have popcorn, not the same as chips. So I like chips again. So I put them on my list. And then crackers or cookies are always good, easy things that I can throw in my lunch box. So... I budgeted $25 for the meat. I put everything else in the Walmart app to figure out how much it was going to cost me. And everything was going to be in the about the $40 range in Walmart for everything else that I put on my ideal list. So I said, well, that gets me kind of close to my budget, but still under budget. So let me see, do I really need everything that I put on my list here? So I did the math. I did the meal math. 
Um, at the end of week nine, I'd eaten 157 meals. I have food for at least 21 meals, really probably more like 28 meals, but I'm going to say 21 meals. Uh, there's a total of 210 meals are in my, is what my goal is for this challenge, which means I have 38 meals left to shop for. Breakfast are pretty much all taken care of. So that's, um, 12 to 13 breakfast, just depending on how my meals line up. So that leaves me 25 lunches and dinners I really need to shop for. So this is my modified list of meat because that's the only thing I really modified when I came up with my, um, when I came up with my final list. So a pound and a half of ground beef a pork loin roast, and some chicken of some sort. I said pork loin roast, but I meant pork, probably pork shoulder roast, but still pork roast. And then chicken of some sort again, but, but a, you know, a scale back amount from what I was originally thinking. So then I put all this in my modified list in the Walmart app, including the meats, and I ended up in the $50 range. So, my modified list is a good list. I can flex up and get some higher quality stuff. I can flex down and try to keep my budget a little bit tighter and try to come under under my dollar amount fairly, a fair good bit. A fair good bit, that's good English for you. But, so this is what I'm thinking for my question. Future me breaking in here. I forgot to mention I also have peanut butter and jelly. Also have some salami, so I have some. I still have some corned beef left, so I have some components for sandwiches as well. So a loaf of bread was also on my on my list. So when my grocery math doesn't quite add up to the to the meal math in my brain, there I forgot I was calculating in those sandwiches to begin with. So future me signing out. Thank you guys for joining me on this grocery budget challenge journey. And like any other YouTube channel, you can like, subscribe, share all those wonderful things. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.